The Giving Stream launched an international feeding programme to tackle poverty in the most remote locations, with a firm understanding that nobody should be going without food, safe in the knowledge that the world was perfectly created with the livestock, birds and fish affirmed and blessed by God. Genesis 1.22, and God blessed them saying, be fruitful, multiply, and fill the waters in the seas and let the birds multiply on the earth. Genesis 8.15, God spoke to Noah saying, go out of the ark, you and your wives and your sons and their wives with you. Bring out with you every living thing of all flesh, birds and the animals and every crawling thing that crawls on the earth, that they may breed abundantly on the earth and be fruitful and multiply. In Genesis 9, God said to Noah, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. The lack of food in the world today isn't due to being overpopulated. As many do say, we were instructed to go and fill the earth. In Genesis 9:3, God said, every moving thing that lives shall be food for you. I give you everything. What if food poverty was a stewarding issue of the church? A bold statement to make, I know, and one that probably won't win me many friends. But if we've been given everything, whose responsibility is it to steward it? Those that know him or those that don't? Once we have eyes to see that poverty is a stewarding issue and not a creator issue, we begin to look at things rather differently. What if I told you it was possible to ship a farm to a remote village, placing the farm in the hands of the poorest of the poor, and within 10 weeks the farm was producing 9,000 meals a month, every month, and that the minimal running costs of this farm are covered by a UK-based company? You would probably say I'm crazy, so we figured we'd best show you how it's done. Introducing the Giving Streams Container Farm. We convert shipping containers into self-sustaining quail farms. The container is fitted with the required equipment and is simply dropped into location, producing produce within 10 weeks. The first process is the incubation. Quail eggs hatch within 12 to 14 days and our incubators range from 5,000 to 20,000 eggs at any one time. Once hatched, the birds go into the hot box where the temperature is regulated with heat lamps before the birds are allowed through to the nest box area. Around three weeks of age, the hatch is opened up, allowing the birds off heat and into the nest box. At six weeks of age, the birds will begin to lay eggs. The birds are also fertile around six weeks of age, so they begin to produce the next generation of eggs for the incubator. The hatch to the external pen is also open during this time, allowing the birds to free range within a secure enclosure. The eggs are gathered daily and each bird will produce six eggs per week. Starting with 1,000 quail, by the time the birds are table ready at 10 weeks of age, they would have produced around 24,000 eggs. Serious multiplication. The eggs are then put into the incubator and the process begins again. With a regular and constant supply of meat and birds being produced, this container farm can transform villages within a matter of weeks. So how is it funded? A percentage of revenue generated through the Giving Stream brand, Your Farmer, is donated to the container farm project. This means that a regular and reliable revenue stream is attached to the project, making this a self-sustaining program. Ongoing support and training? We've got this covered. We send a team with the container and welcome missionaries to connect with us to train on our UK farm and then travel with the shipment to teach those who will operate the farms. The farms are sent ready to go and this really is a simple process but we are still here seven days a week offering support to those on the ground who are running the farms. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you've purchased produce from The Giving Stream, the Your Farmer brand through our virtual stores or home delivery, not only have you helped there put food on the table for people in food crisis, you've also helped contribute towards our international quail farms.